All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more Prophecy of Pandora. So, uh, last time, we finished off the Empire of Sarleon. They, or well, I guess Kingdom, technically. Uh, it was, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, kind of a tough battle. But uh, we managed to clean them up. They're completely eradicated. We got a bunch of lords out of them, actually, now that I'm, uh, now that I'm remembering it. Uh, but for the first time since we rebelled... Our kingdom is at peace, and uh, I'm going to use this <laughs> uh, while I have it to try to hunt as many Qualish gems as possible, because that's something we've kind of been lacking so far this series, um, and it kind of shows in our stats. Obviously, for any other series, these would seem like some pretty fucking amazing stats, but for Pendor, eh, <laughs> not so much. Not, not end game material stats. And so we've been saving up all these skill points from our level ups because we've been waiting to get, you know, more charisma, more agility so that we can actually put these skill points into worthwhile skills. And so that's what I'm going to try to accomplish today. This is probably going to be just uh, a huge amount of editing where I throw in all the clips of us taking out different unique spawns. Currently, there are two of them that we're hunting in the uh, southern Dishar Desert. We have Holy Inquisitor, Rasmus Devatica. With a pretty pretty healthy army, I might add. 879 of his boys. However, not the most elite units. Mercenary cavalrymen are definitely decent. Uh, the mercenary sharpshooters can be scary if you don't close the gap. And you let them just fire at you. His other units, the foot units, uh, only really dangerous if you allow them to mass up and form, I guess, little, little death balls of infantry. So we're going to try to avoid that if possible. On the other hand, uh, we also have Sheik Shalabans, Shalabans, however the fuck you pronounce it, his adventure company. They're not nearly as large, but they have a lot more elite units. Last, when I counted it, it was like 330 relatively elite or good cavalry. So it'll be interesting. Even though they're half the size, I feel like they almost might be as tough, if not tougher, than uh, Rasmus here. Um, besides that, there's a few other ones that we have spawned in here. Well... Obviously, there's the Dread Legion. Last time I checked, their number is still at about 1,000 with 4,000 prisoners. Not going to be facing her. Uh, Kajuta the Ravager, Warlord Zulkar just spawned in. Um, Kajuta's scary as fuck. He's got like 1,000 troops. Warlord Zulkar just spawned in, so he can't have gotten too many prisoners yet. Uh, Boris the Raven is employed by Ravenstone uh, and has been getting a lot of prisoners. He's up to like six, 700 troops last time I checked. So probably not going to face him unless he's our only option besides like Maltese and the Dread Legion. So anyways, that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, I did call the army and they should be traveling down to meet me and help me take out Rasmus. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer, see if any of them show up. Otherwise, we'll just have to go at it by ourselves. Okay, so I had already been waiting for quite some time for the, uh, <laughs> the army to show up. And so I was curious to see... One, if any of them were actually coming down to us, and two, if they were, what was taking them so long. And so I turned off the fog of war just to look, and sure enough, uh, <laughs> poor old Frederick was the only one to respond to our call, and he was headed down here, and he got attacked by an entire, an entirely different uh, Inquisition army, 724 troops. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really... It doesn't really help motivate other lords to respond to our, our campaigns in the future, does it? <laughs> so anyhow, we're just going to have to face these guys by ourselves then. So, all right. Ah, good luck us, I suppose. Luckily, none of the little armies of like, you know, 60, 80 troops are close to us and joining in on this fight because, well, individually, those guys aren't too bad. When there's, you know, when we're already facing 800 some... We don't, we don't want to be facing another 60, 80 troops on top of that. So here we go. Let's, let's see what happens here. I did put away essentially all of my ranged units, my archer units. Um, the real question is, do we charge here? I think that might be the move, just because I'm afraid that once their mercenary sharpshooters get set up, it's kind of over for us if we just let them shoot at us. Holy fuck, this is a lot of mercenary cavalry. That's slightly troublesome. Yikes. 
good news is, these guys don't really like to kill people. <laughs> they kind of just knock us out. So, if we have to slowly work this guy down... Oh my god, we are getting obliterated. This isn't even close. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Well, the mercenary cavalry will kill people. That's, that's important to note. Um, but I think most of the... Uh, like, actual... Inquisition type units. I think they use blunt weapons. No? Ooh, that hammer looks like that would definitely kill somebody. So I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Alright. Yeah, this, uh... This might take a hot sack. Damn it, these guys are tough. The Inquisitors, we can't one-shot them. Oh! Oh, lordy. Damn getting stomped. How many did we lose there? So we only lost nine? Took out 30 some of them. I'm gonna have to rethink my troop loadout. Maybe we should actually get a bunch of range units, bring them down, hmm, and just try to shoot at them. That might work. All right, give me a sec. I'll work on this. Okay, so uh, I just realized actually we still haven't actually gotten married right <laughs> so i feel like that's that's probably something we should do uh and we had this mission to talk or come visit lady aliena i remember what you look like babe whoops <laughs> um which one of these white chicks with shawls are you okay she's none of them okay cool wait no no she the hell she's at Orgar castle am i crazy i mean she has to be here this is the only castle of the empire uh left hmm unlike some of my peers i am not at all about making use of the odd stranger all right uh, it might just be because of the feast we might just have to wait for a while okay i'll tell you what we will do instead is i did just finish uh a mission for uh <laughs> the the knights of the eventide because i had picked up one of them to hunt down uh inquisition because i assumed we'd be taking out an army obviously that hasn't happened yet but i did take out a couple of the smaller ones picked up a few prisoners Holy shit. That was cool. <laughs> Never seen that before. Alright. But I think we've maxed it out. So I have bounties to claim. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. We got some Eventide Gilman. Alright. Well, I don't know what, <laughs> what exactly I expected there. But we will take that. Uh, how many Eventide Gilman do we have? I did pick up a bunch that we had left sitting in Sez. Oh, we got 45 on us right now. Hmm. Part of me wants to just go back and do it again. No, let's no, let's just take another stab at it. Why don't we? What else? I mean, do we have any units we could pick up here? We could pick up a few more Gilman that have been recruited. Could get well. No, all right, not those guys. We do have armored crossbowmen. That's a valid strategy to just. If we had like a hundred of them, I think that could potentially work and just have such <laughs> such an insane amount of uh of firepower that even their cavalry wouldn't be able to get to us but 30 i ain't gonna cut it but 30 and 21 of these bettenheim crossbows now we're starting to get close hmm hmm all right not yet we're gonna try a few other things and get these jatu lancers we're gonna try to beat them and just straight up by straight up having the better heavy cavalry because once we get through those those mercenary cavalry the rest is going to be a piece of cake right it's all <laughs> it's all foot units you know they got the the mercenary sharpshooters which are not a problem as long as they don't have cab that are stopping us from stopping our cab from getting to their archers and then it's just their infantry which our even tied gilman should be able to just run around and demolish 
this is how it's supposed to go in my mind <laughs> how it how it actually will go probably nothing like that probably nothing like that at all okay all right all right i'm assuming i mean he should still be down here he only doesn't travel too far all right so there's the sheik again i mean maybe we should go for him instead he basically has the same number of elite cavalry as we do We'll see. If we get obliterated again by Rasmus, then maybe then maybe we'll think about going for the Sheik instead. Where, where the fuck is Rasmus? All right, give me a sec. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is him right here. Um, this is kind of awkward. I, I guess we're going to step in and help, right? I mean, we got to at least try to capture him. This kind of fucking sucks. I don't even know if it's going to work. This is, yep, that is him. All right. Well, only 272 of them. We're not, I, I doubt we're going to lose very many units to this, regardless. And there's, I guess there's still a chance that Rasmus hasn't been knocked out. And that we can still capture him from this. But I, don't, I don't feel like it's a good shot. Oh my god. Picking him off. Need more headshots. You know what this... What this needs, this needs just a little more headshots and cowbell. That's what this needs. I've also switched back over to our uh, our emerald axe because I'll be honest, I, I I like I like the Noldor War Sword just for its reach, but it's so slow and it doesn't one shot people, and the reach is not worth giving up extreme amounts of damage and speed. Like, the damage output of the axe is just so good. And the range is actually pretty decent. I think it's like 1-0-something. Holy fuck, we gotta stay on our toes. Ooh, get VMP moved. And 73 headshot, I'm pretty sure, from a mercenary sharpshooter. As we were, like, moving around, too. What an unlucky shot for us. That's too bad. Alright, well, our troops are charged in now. That's fine. We should be able to uh, wipe them out here. Okay, looks like we are just about done here. Um, I'll be honest, even if we don't end up getting the Quas Gem from this, which in all likelihood we won't, because I think there's a pretty decent chance the Inquisitor Rasmus was already taken out before we entered the battle, which means we wouldn't even get a chance to roll for it. Um, and then even if somehow he was in the battle with a prisoner management skill of, what, I think five? I don't know what odds we get, but I think it's like around 50, it's like a coin flip right now as to whether we capture them, capture them or not on any given uh, opportunity. But here's to us, please. I mean, we didn't lose any units either, so we, we really lost <laughs> nothing through all of this. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to be the case, boys. That's a rip. Well, that does mean... There is still a certain Sheik Shalavan running around that we could go... Oh my god, hello. Some pretty decent units there, actually. Um, hmm. Who are we going to get rid of for you? That is the question. I mean, we really have a pretty decent army here. I don't know who we want to get rid of. I guess maybe some of these Cure Guards? They're decent, but I don't know how they're going to do in a land battle in comparison. Same with the Legionnaires. Get rid of them, that'll open up 20 slots. Be enough for most of those guys. That yeah, should do the trick. Is there anyone else, like, truly trashed here that we could get rid of? I mean, I like the Copper Warriors just because of how cheap they are, but obviously they're not actually that great in a battle, so we, we probably should be getting rid of them, right? Mm. <sighs> yeah. Get rid of them, and then honestly, even for the Maiden Cavalry, we're probably still supposed to get rid of them. Tell you what, we'll get rid of 10 more of these guys and pick up 10 of them. We'll call that a day. Oh, there's a few other good units in here. Okay, all right, all right. One, two, three. Get those three. Empire Arm and Crossbowmen. All right, well, we're just getting rid of all of our Cobra Warriors then in that case. Jesus. This is why we could also use some more leadership. <laughs> so we can carry around a bigger army. 
260, it's decent, but it's not great. Not great for Pendor. All right. Well, rip that. Not too bad. Well, Sheik Shalavan. Well, as soon as my troops and myself are healed up, I think we're going to go for you here. 441. Let's see. What are we, what are we looking at here? Like uh, 140, 210, 240, 340 good units. And a bunch of trash random ones that they've picked up. I mean, I don't know if we'll get it in one go, but in a few attempts, we should be able to wipe them out. I'm just going to wait for all my dudes to heal up, and uh, we'll go in and do this. All right, here we go. Attempt numero uno. God, this guy sounds like just such a fucking prick. All right. GLS. Charge him, boys. Fucking charge him. Come on, let me get first blood. No! He tanked it. Oof. Ah. Ooh, ah. Okay. Do not like the look of all of those. Boy, man, yeah, he has a lot of good cavalry. This is not going to be fun at all. Right, we'll do our best. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That guy parried it from behind? He parried my shot from behind me when I wasn't even swinging at him. I was swinging at the dude in front of me. <laughs> what the hell, man? Come on. It's the other thing I really want with these Koalas gems is to improve our weapon proficiencies. I feel so slow. Not really with the axe. The axe is, is decently fast, but the bow is just so god-awfully slow when we fire, man. <laughs> it feels so bad. Which is not what a rune weapon is supposed to feel like. Obviously, you know, it's the slowest one. It's the most accurate. It fires fast, which is cool. All that's great, but like, it just feels so god-awfully slow. I, you know, I, I dream at night of our, of our old sapphire rune bow. The machine gun, as we mow down entire armies that would siege our, our forts. That's what VMP dreams of at night, guys. thing is you guys think I'm kidding about that <laughs> Ooh, tried fainting us there GG's GG GG <laughs> oof that's a bad shot where are my shots going what the f that hit his horse how And how did that not kill you? That's from point blank. Motherfucker, there you go. Right, I think we're... Oh my goodness, look at, all, look at just this mosh pit of horse archers. No one's actually pulling out melee weapons. <laughs> They're just firing from close range, hoping for the best. Uh, we do need to pick up some new arrows here. What? Excuse me. Thank you. Jesus. Now please stop dragging his dead body horse. And let me... No. Give me my room. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. Yeah, I think we're cleaning them up here. I was actually... I forgot. The Wind Riders... Or, no. What are they called? The Wind Blades? One of those units that he had a lot of, actually, aren't actually cavalry. No, they're still good units. Um... But, Jesus, this is a little, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I just saw how many enemies were headed my way. Oh, hello. Gee, didn't even notice all these guys just rolled into the midst of them. Excuse me, holy fuck. I need a horse. You, give me your horse. It's not a great horse, but we'll take it. Oof. Don't have the maneuvering. See, if we had 10 riding, we could make that turn and get to that guy. You know, it's kind of funny. I was watching, uh, I was on Twitch earlier, I think it was last night. 
And I was curious, I was like, huh, I wonder if anyone like streams Mountain Blade on uh, on Twitch. And I'll be honest, there wasn't much. There was only one decent sized streamer. He had like 100, 100 people watching him. And it was in some foreign language. Like I think it was like some Turkish dude or whatever. But uh, the, the second place dude had six viewers. And he was actually, I don't know, he spoke English at least. <laughs> but uh, he was playing Perizno. And so I was like, oh, I want to see what he's up to. And everything was moving at, like, the speed of light. Like, I'm talking about, like, on the actual battle map. And it wasn't just him. It was, like, every unit was just, like, it was speeded up, like, three times. Three times normal. It was absurd. And so, I was like, dude, what do you, like, what did you do? And apparently, there's, like, he ran a cheat engine to just speed up the entire game. And so, he wasn't using it to, like, you know, cheat necessarily. Like, the enemy units were sped up three times as well. And I was like, oh, are you trying to go for, like, some speedrunning attempt? Or, like, why are you doing this? And he's like, no, I just do this for fun and I don't have patience. <laughs> like, I, I wish I had a clip of it, man. Like, his... I might have to look him back up. The Everything was going so stupidly fast. I, I can't I can't describe it properly. You guys would need to see it. Like, a siege would start and his troops would just fuck. I was blocking that entire time all righty then sure that makes sense we're almost done here fuck's sake uh not really Eek. Eek. uh i mean i think we're how many have we lost we've got about 100 troops left he's got under 200 okay okay I think we'll still win this. I think we'll still win this. I'm not 100% sure, though. Alright, well. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna need to retreat here. That really sucks. <sighs> Man, we've only got, like, 30 units left that are able to fight. He's only got, like, 80, though. That's the worst part, Man. 32 against 91. I almost want to try to do this by myself is the worst part. Uh, that's not the smartest move. That's not the smart move. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Sheik Shalvain, I don't think he's able to fight right now. Anyways, just going to keep on waiting. We're going to heal up. Obviously, we've got way more troops that survived. We only lost, I think, like 40. I think we only lost like 40 units to that in total. So, I'm not too worried about that. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, here we go. Back at it again. Good luck us. This time we actually had an enemy lord join us, so shouldn't be too bad. I mean, he's got like the 90 troops left. And honestly, it looks like <laughs> they're basically all of his elite troops. I don't know what we expected. He's got like basically that one couple of peasants. There's a couple of them. It's not just one. Greg and his boys. They survived. But all the other poor recruits that they picked up didn't match up too well against our boys. Alright. Uh, I mean, if we keep them concentrated here, I can just sit here. There's like our... What the fuck did you just... The fuck you say to me? <laughs> What's that clip of ninja? Oh no, our horse got crippled. Also, these guys swing so fast, man. Get fucked. Damn it, I really wanted that one. Oof, we could have gotten fucking finished there. Can't see anybody. God, this bow takes so long to actually aim. I can't. How am I supposed to hit a 360 with that? Sapphire bow. Oh my god, we killed that dude? Holy shit. Come on. Ooh, we got him too. Just when I give up on actually hitting them, <laughs> we hit the shot. Happens every time. Alright, clean him up, boys. How many we got left? Six? Where are they at? Oh, there we go. Sit down. Get the fuck out of here. Come here. No, come here. 
<laughs> one of our own horses just knocked out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's great. I don't think I've seen that happen before. I don't think I, I don't know that I've ever seen an enemy knocked out or not an enemy, just any unit knocked out by a horse or an ownerless horse. Holy shit. I mean, it makes sense. A netherworld charger is going to wreck shit when they hit you, but huh. I can't think of ever seeing that happen before. <gasps> mm, fuck yes, we got him, boys. There we go. Okay. Now we're in business already. This episode isn't a complete failure. Alright, Heretic Magnus, yes. I'll take the Heretic Minions to train up some... Holy, 68 Mercenary Warriors, dude. Relax. Take the Wardens. A uh, ton of Maiden Cavalry. Who has he been fighting? I guess just, what, caravans and shit? A bunch of these Gazi Stalkers. Hold up, who do we just pick up? Alright, you guys are not worth it over some of these dudes, I don't think. We'll definitely take the Gazi Stalkers over them. The Noble Riders as well. And that should work out. All right, and we're, so we're basically right back up to where we were. Success. Okay, so now, before we forget, uh, we definitely want to talk to Lady Aliana. Especially, we're talking about trying to marry her, and we're about to blow her off for a month straight. So hopefully there isn't a feast going on currently. Uh, bu -bu -bu. How, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to? Where is she? That's the real... I'm starting to think she's just actually not here in the castle. In which case, where the fuck would she be? This is their only castle. Ah, uh, location of... I probably should have done this earlier. Nobody knows where she is. Well, goddammit. That puts a slight wrinkle in my plans. Oh, well. Still riding on the high of defeating, or of capturing the Sheik. Let's go ahead and actually get his Koalas Gem while we're at it. Mm-hmm. I will accept your Koalas Gem for your freedom. Thank you. Next time I will not be so generous. Actually, next time I will absolutely be that generous. Please, come again. <laughs> I'll do that every day. Uh, huh. Who is she related to? Okay. I'm guessing she goes wherever her father goes. So if we were to recruit Justice Ducks, which I'm assuming we probably ran by him since this is where all the vassals normally are. Maybe not. All right. Lord Dion. All right. Let's uh, let's talk to. Wow, this guy fucking hates us. Close to Glunmar. Let's see if we could potentially ask him to join us, and then if he'd bring over Lady Aliana then. Oh, wow, he's a pretty good vassal, too. Does he like us? He has no opinion on us. Who crosses my lands huh. my permission? Okay. Okay. What would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? Hmm. It is our custom to seal any such alliance with marriage, and in fact, we've been looking for a suitable groom for my daughter, Lady Aliana. It's interesting how all these all these fathers uh, look at us such or so differently when it comes to pursuing their their daughters. Well, uh, now that we're a king. May I once again suggest that I be considered as a group? Hmm. Young girls may easily be led astray, so out of a sense of duty to the ladies of my household, I think I would like to get to know you a bit better. We may speak of this at a later date. Motherfucker. Okay. Can I ask you to just fucking join me? Do I need to do a task for you? What do you need? You want Leslie? Alright. 
You're gonna have Leslie. <laughs> now that we have a plus one with him, can we? <laughs> can I get your your daughter's digits? Uh, how does this work? <laughs> Fuck. Well, all right. At this point, we're definitely gonna be failing this quest. Just hopefully we don't fail too many more of them. Otherwise, she'll actually get pissed at us. I think we still have a decent relationship with her. Um. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah, I mean, 23, so pretty decent. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and sell off all of this shit. Do, 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 do. Can only afford 3,600. Uh, I guess give me some food back. <laughs> yes, psych. <laughs> uh, thought I'd get some of you guys to jump a little bit with that one, maybe. All right. Wow, we are like almost out of food though. I guess we are traveling around with a, a full-sized army. Uh, all right, we need to start finding or start looking for Phineas the Digit then. My boy, where are you at? Well, definitely not in there. Holy shit! Oh, there were were a couple of cell swords. Um, all right, we'll head back over to Sarleon then. We got about a week before the Noldor tournament, which we're definitely we've missed like the last two or three of them. So we we definitely need to get back into doing some of those. Even though, I, well, we've gotten one Qualish gem from those so far this series. We, our luck has been awful, but it's no excuse to just stop doing them. All right, nobody here. Felicity Flame Tongue. What a name. Oh, shit, man. See that look? You see that look on Edward's face? That's the look of a man about to risk it all. Fuck Lady Aliena. <laughs> we want her. Okay, anyhow. Uh, I guess I'm just keep on looking around for... Uh, for Phineas then. Okay, we finally found a traveler and he told us that Phineas has been hanging out. Oh, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. He told us that Phineas had been hanging out over here. So let's talk to this lad. Let me look at our stats here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm so ready for some of these to increase, man. I think this should put us over 400 archery. Unfortunately, we have a lot of work to do with our charisma before we can start really improving some of this. But, gotta get started eventually. Alright, what else do you offer? Uh, I will drink the elixir now. Thank you. Strength, agility, and charisma increased by 1. And weapon proficiencies increased by 15. Thank you very much. Also, it's also worth noting that I think we haven't read some of these books. There's probably a lot of these books that we haven't read yet. Yeah, I feel like we should probably do that. Might as well. Really. What is this, uh, wound treatment? Field surgeon's handbook? I feel like that'd be pretty important as well. Also, this horse is lame, right? Yeah, let's switch it out for, uh, yee. This one? Shit, what do we normally use? I want something tanky still. We'll use this one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh wait, this one. What am I talking about? Let's use that. There we go. Why do I have so many horses? <laughs> what the hell, man? I'm just now kind of realizing this. Alright, so we got these books at least. We got a couple of them. This we can sell back. Don't need that anymore. Um... And I feel like there's no reason for us to not have that, at least in our inventory. Alright, 22 Gs and a Qualis Gem. Yeah, we made Phineas's days. <laughs> Man's making bank off us right now. All right, so let me uh, set that then. So we'll do, do applied rhetoric first. I think, is that just intelligence? Is that just an intelligence point? That'd be my guess as to what that is. Let's look at our skills here. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're finally over the 30 mark for, uh, for strength here. Ooh, archery. An exact cool 400 weapon proficiency 333 with uh, one handed that's really not too bad either it's really not too bad i guess might as well put all these weapon points in now before we get even more potions and we'll never be able to use them yeah all right looking good uh so i guess i'll get to reading the book and it's actually about time for the nolor tournament all right time for the tournament oh wait no 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 not that one holy fuck is it not time yet Oh shit, it's not time yet. Never mind. 
I was not paying attention to the dates at all. All right, well, it'll be in a sec here. <laughs> that could have been awkward. <laughs> I don't like our odds with 132 guys going against 1,000 Noldor holding on to Alagray. <laughs> that would have been an interesting, uh, interesting battle. Watching us all get turned into pin cushions. All right, let's do this thing. Oof. All right. Well, not exactly the weapon you want to start out with. But it's the first round, so we just need one kill like that. Ooh, wow, this sword feels fast, though. Sword feels real fast. I mean, that is one of the nice things about getting the elixirs of Archon, though. Is that it increases your proficiency with all the weapons that you don't, don't normally use. You don't normally get proficiencies in. So that really actually helps out for these tournaments. Yikes, man. I need to I need to get warmed up for this tournament. <laughs> I forgot how fast the fucking Noldor are. Okay, come on. Big money. What do we got here? Two teams of six? Alright, alright. How many of our guys made it through? Just one. Cool. Okay. Oh man, these arrows fire so slow. Don't kill steel, please. Oops, just hit the wrong guy with that one. Okay. 55 fucking damage? Are you kidding me? Alright, we need to... Thank you. Alright, we're good. We're in the next round. Thank you. Oh my god. A blue embarrassed that Twilight Knight right there. You had a shield, sir. There is no reason for, <laughs> for me to have hit you. No way. Okay, <laughs> I was worried we're, we weren't even going to make it to the next round, let alone win that entire battle. Uh, two teams of three. Oh, no, no, no Twilight Knights left. Sir Rain is still in it. That's what we like to see. And we're on horseback. Let's go. Oh, but the archers are targeting me. No, 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 no. Not like this. Dude, I fucking hate archers. Oh, my. How did I fucking whiff that, too? go good hit on him this guy's in melee okay we're good a little stressful there man a little stressful oh uh, okay all right two teams of two here we go serene's out of it but also so are just about all of the good noldor thank you Again, nice. Hey, Ranger buddy, could you please hit him? If that is at all possible. Okay, one down. We actually don't want to dismount him. Yeah, we just want to take him out of his saddle. Because if he gets off, <laughs> he's going to charge at us with a shield. And that's not what we want. Alright, we're on to the duels. Good luck us. Okay. Alright. I mean... Nice. Very good start. I, I've, I have a feeling this means the final duel is going to be us just getting awful RNG. It's going to be us on foot. Two-handed... Uh, yeah, two-handed sword against an archer on horseback. That, or we're going to be an archer on foot, and they're going to be a guy with a sword and shield. One of the two. Okay, well, it's a fair fight. I don't know if I like it, necessarily. Oh, okay. Whew. And we get beautiful armor pieces? What? Armor, like plural? Ugh. Oh, I mean, I guess the plate greaves are always nice and getting more gauntlets is good for our, for our heroes and whatnot, but I was kind of hoping for something better. <laughs> if I'm just being honest. I mean, we were hoping for a Qualis gem. But, like, obviously that wasn't going to happen. Let me get rid of all the rotten food that we have. 
Uh, that's too bad. I mean, I guess we can always give it to a hero. All right, well, um, I guess we go back to waiting a little bit. Let me see if any new new spawns come in. Or if any spawns get weak enough that I think we can take them out. Uh, and then we'll probably end the episode off there. Okay, so, um, I ended up going back to Justice Ducks to, I guess, pick Leslie back up. And then uh, ask him again to see if, you know, that, that four extra relationship that we had with him changed his mind on letting us see his daughter. It did not, but he gave me another task, this one, to rescue Sidonius Legatus. And uh, this is probably one of the easier ones to do. Um, so let's take a walk around the courtyard here. Also, Myers Imperator is also being held prisoner here. So it's worth, it's definitely worth just in terms of the uh, relationship we're going to get with all of the Empire vassals, or at least a lot of them. So let's see that and we're just going to get we're going to get additional quest relationship with justice ducks so hopefully this works out mm-hmm mm-hmm ggs <laughs> all right we could just leave mars in here that'd be funny all right uh should i stay out of the fighting try to stay out of the fighting right. wow you do not look so hot man god damn pale af I know I'm not one to talk. Those of you who've seen me live stream, I'm not exactly a tan dude in the middle of a Michigan winter, but still, God, man, I guess he has been at the, you know, the bottom of a cellar for who knows how long. Yeah, okay, these guys are scaring me, which they probably shouldn't. Holy fuck, what am I doing? Thank you, headshot. What? This man's fucking running from me. Okay, thank you. I know you got some more boys somewhere. Bring them out. Do I need to show you guys my milkshake? Bring you all out to the yard? Bring all the boys? <laughs> that headshot, though. Alright, cool. Myers and Pyrrhus goes free. Sidonius goes free. We actually didn't get relationship with all the other vassals. But, eh, whatever. We'll, we'll get it for the quest. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, I think Justice was running out off somewhere. Uh, right, let's just ask him if he's seen him. Uh, yeah, no problem, man. Is he honorable? No, he's Marshall. Okay. Justice, where is he at? Orgar Castle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mm hmm. Is he in the castle? Oh, there he is. All right, 13. Yeah, no problem for saving your brother. Got some money, some XP, all that shit. Good, good. All right, and now I wish to ask you, man. May I have the honor of visiting with your daughter? Yes, there we go. You have my blessings to pay suit to her, so long as your intentions are honorable, of course. Depending on how things proceed between you two, we may have more to discuss at a later date. All right. Well, there we go. Well, we got that accomplished. We could, I guess, try to still recruit him to our kingdom. Um, if we go to our steward and have them send someone to him to try to recruit him. We could do that still. Because, I mean, <laughs> what what what's the point of having his blessing if we still can't actually find her because she seemingly has disappeared off the map of Pandor? Hmm. All right, well, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's uh, keep on grinding. Okay, so that's been a hot sec. We uh, finished reading the one book, which actually gave us a point in persuasion, I want to say. Um, you know... I guess <laughs> it's better than nothing. So we're currently reading the, uh, or we're about to start reading the memories of the Pendoran commander. That one, I don't know if that's going to give us I'm presuming tactics, tactics, maybe leadership, either one. I'm kind of okay with, uh, although oof, damn, actually, maybe we should be putting more points into tactics. I'm looking at it. Um, 
No, I mean, I want to save these skill points for when we do get Charisma up. I mean, shoot, five of those alone could go into Prisoner Management, and then we'd obviously have Leadership as well. I think we're going to hold off on that. I mean, obviously, more tactics isn't going to hurt. And most likely, eventually, by the end of the campaign, we'll have uh, more points in that. Anyhow, the Alexios, the fine blacksmith of our uh, order here, has finished work on, I want to say it's our, our helmet, our king helm. And I think it's done. Yes. Let's check this bad boy out. Lordly black helm with crown. Finally, it feels like we're almost like ascending right now. Like we're taking the hood off and we're the king. So let's see, that's going to give us a plus six to head armor and plus seven to body armor. That's actually a huge... Look at our stats. We almost, we're almost at a hundred body armor with that. That is really good. And once we get this up, we actually will be. Uh, and I think that's the last piece of equipment we really have to train up there. Yeah. God damn. All right. Uh, well, actually, fuck, I should have brought my other set of gloves. I put the, put like all the Noldor armor we just got from the tournament away. Uh, we'll be okay without these for a little while. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll be okay. All right, improve these. Just short of perfection. Perfect. Do that. Uh, I want you to speed it up though. 20 Gs. A little expensive, but not that big of a deal. We're actually making money per week now, now that we have a couple towns. <laughs> it only took owning the same amount of towns that normally an entire faction would have for us to go positive in terms of weekly wages. But, uh, you know, hey, we'll take it. Anyhow, on top of that, uh, a couple more spawns have come in. A, in particular, two Empire ones. Kodan Ironsword was actually employed by the Empire. And then Sila Uzis. Sila Uzis is nasty, especially when he first spawns in, because he's got like 500 some very elite like knight units. <laughs> They're actually kind of disgusting to go against. Kodan Ironsword, on the other hand, is probably one of the weaker yeah he definitely is one of the weaker unique spawns so we're gonna search around for him i'm um, presuming that he's following Mars and Peter, and uh we're just gonna try to sneak him take him out and hopefully not end up at war with the empire as a result <laughs> okay so i found silo Uzis, and he is currently in the process of single-handedly wiping out an entire snake cult army and the crazy thing is i think he only lost 100 units taking on a full force snake cult army so Maltese was also hanging around here, so I've been getting her to follow me, and I'm hoping that she attacks Silo Uzis right afterwards. Yep, looks like it. <laughs> oh, sucks to suck, Silas. I mean, he's just going to get wiped by them now, I think. But this might actually put some hurt down on Maltese and make her touchable. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. You think, like, his 400 units are elite. All, his entire army is very, very powerful. So, yeah, look, he's already taken out a hundred of her units on top of the rest of the units in the Dreadly or in the Snake Hold army. He was originally fighting, <gasps> and away he goes. Holy shit, we have not seen Maltese, I mean, quote unquote, lose a battle yet. That is kind of scary. Um, but that hurt him a lot. He's down like 150 units. And he's got another 70 that are currently wounded. Once he heals up, it might be it might be time for us to take him out. And then we can do Codan Iron Sword right afterwards. I don't know, we'll see. We'll 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 watch and, and see how this plays out here. Okay, so uh, I found a certain Codan Iron Sword over here with uh, interestingly enough, without a Mars Imperator in tow. And he's at 57% HP, so he will take part in this battle. But look at his troop composition and just how shitty it is compared to what uh, fucking Sila Uzis' was after taking on the Dread Legion and an entire Snake Cold army. Yeah. And yet, somehow, both of these guys both give you a Claws Gem. Alright, surrender or die, Kodan. Let's do this thing. Uh, I'm expecting this to be a bit of a blowout. I like the crown, baby. I like the fucking crown. 
This is like kind of us like coming out to the world. Wait, like not as gay, but like, <laughs> but as a king. That's that's what I meant by that. Oh well. <laughs> I think you guys got the gist of what I was trying to trying to say there. Oof! Ouch! Hey! 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 hey. Van scaries. You throw an axes. Let's, let's calm down a little bit here. Don't even be be so rude. No, we lost a knight of the owl. This is a horrendous moment. Such a loss. Flags are going to be at half mast. In fact, half mast is too damn high after losing one of the legendary knights of the owl. Who else wants them? Nothing like <laughs> just pulling out the bow at close range combat. What? Thank you. Ooh, hello. Jesus. This could have probably put a dent into us if we weren't paying attention. Well, we weren't paying attention. If they had been paying attention to the fact that we weren't paying attention, that could have hurt us a bit. Ooh, this is a lot of... Oh, how... Dude, our shield skill needs to be improved as well, man. I'm pressing... Ooh, I'm pressing the right mouse button, but it just... Takes a while, I guess, for the for us to pull our shield up. Thank you. Fuck him up. Is that all of them? That wasn't too bad. GG's. Mm, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, cool. <laughs> you are my prisoner. Uh, did the Empire even get pissed off with us for doing that? Also, we need some food. I don't know if they even actually got pissed off at us for doing that. Interesting enough. Hmm. Alright, we'll take uh, you prisoner. Cool, cool. Some heroin adventurers. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, we did. Okay, but because we because we rescued the two lords, we already had four, so it just goes down to zero, and we are not at War of the Empire. Perfect. I, man, sometimes these things, they just fucking work out. All right, well, we're probably going to wrap up the episode there, then. Has been a very successful one. Two Koalas Gems. It's not every day you get that in an episode, and it's certainly been a while for us, at least. Um, so I guess let me quick find Phineas. We'll get the, we'll get the Elixir. And we'll, uh, we'll call it a day there. All right, and here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the elixir. Another strength, agility, and charisma point. 15 more in all of our weapon proficiencies. Let's check out the stats here. This has been a very nice episode. To 415 archery, nearly 350 one-handed. Charisma is now at a 15, if only, you know. I mean, that would have been relevant if we like didn't have that random event that gave us uh <laughs> took us up to five prisoner management already but that's fine just three more qualis gems away before we'll actually be able to start improving shit that we want although actually now that i'm looking at it we can get uh, plus one shield and athletics now and horse archery we're gonna do horse archery and shield i don't know if athletics is worth the skill point at this point yeah all right well thank you guys for watching it was a bit of a hodgepodge of an episode where I just uh, kind of a lot of a lot of you know cutting around, doing a bunch of stuff, a lot of grinding on my part. But hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys to watch. Uh, next time we'll be back, and hopefully uh, we will be getting married. But until then, as always, take it easy.